In this Lightworks tutorial, I will show you how to do some basic color grading or color correction. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Lightworks. A link to my beginner's tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, we've gone ahead and brought this clip into track one or V1 in Lightworks and I've used this clip a few times in different tutorials. It's a lighting problem um, which creates a problem with the white balance. Um, but I'm also going to show you how to do a bit of sort of grading as well rather than just correcting this. So the first thing I would do in Lightworks is I would actually use the move forward to next um, cut stroke Q this will take you to an empty part of this track and just use your left arrow key come back one frame and look for the little green add a Q marker button and select this um, don't hit the delete just uh, close this down what this will do now is it means that you can flick from both beginning and the end quite easily and as you can see at the beginning of this clip the colors are different than the end come up to the top and select VFX don't bother with any of this what I would do on any clip I would try and get this more uniform regardless of whether it's a white balance issue or not so just select balance now one thing especially when you've got color differences um, which can happen when you're panning in a building or in bad lighting condition is that as I showed you before things change now one thing I would get my head around is keyframing they're sort of indicated in Lightworks like a clock so for instance if I selected this keyframe here on the white um, balance I've got a few options I could select the color picker drag this over and select something that I know is white now the problem with this is as clearly you can see I've lost the detail in the background so if I right click here you've got an option to reset and you can reset different uh, changes but in this instance I'm just going to select all select the keyframe clock and what you can do as well is if you select the color you can move this about to improve your clip so that's looking better there if I go to the end I can do the same again it would be nice if you could have an example to look at by doing a, a um, frame um, taking an image from your first frame or any frames along and compare them but I don't know how you do that in uh, Lightworks so let's just have a look at this as you can see it's still not that good so again I'll change this color to try and match it up let's have a look at that it's not looking too bad so what I would do now is go to the curves and again you've got keyframe options here so let's have a look at what options so at the beginning it's slightly red so I could for instance select the red and keyframe the red so if I drag this down now I can adjust the red a bit go to the end and adjust the red here 
to try and match up the clip and that's that's looking a lot better I'm, I'm rushing this you obviously you can spend a bit more time selecting your colors so that's fine but this is better here when it comes to blue than here so because I want to change the blue at the beginning of the clip what I would do is I would just go to the end select the blue and select the keyframe and then go sorry go to the end in this instance and then go to the beginning and drag this down slightly and now as you can see it's right at the top there and okay this still could do with a bit more work but I won't go into any more changes here because it will get boring okay so we've sort of done a reasonable job of sorting this out and now I would use the main board here and the reason I don't like using this on any video editor um, well a lot of video editors is you don't have a keyframe option here but I could now try and improve the color by dragging these about I'm not a great lover of these color wheels to be honest with you that's not looking too bad and again don't forget you've got options here for keyframing so you can change your contrast and your um, well any of these settings at any point you, you can put in uh, markers along anywhere and any change you make at any point so if I left this contrast here well let's do this if I select this here and I can adjust my contrast up sharpen up the video a bit maybe and then go to the end I can reduce it down a bit and as you can see it says 9 here at the end and 22.7 here at the beginning um, maybe again you could keyframe your saturation or reduce it a bit brightness and gain again you can use your keyframes even change your gamma using your keyframes and I think that's as much as I'm going into don't forget you if you right click you've got options here so I could change any of the reset any of the um, changes that I made or I could just reselect all and go from the beginning again um, so I think that's as much as I'm going to do here hopefully that's sort of got you a rough idea of what you can do as you can see from this original clip here this one is not perfect I haven't spent enough time on it but it's a lot improved now you do is just go ahead and render your video um, like I said at the beginning I've assumed you know all about that sort of thing in Lightworks so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers